Good morning and thanks for being with us on this Wednesday. I'm Amy Lang and I'm Ryan Armani. We begin with new information on a breaking story we've been following from Detroit's West Side. A kidnapping victim has been found alive and save her alleged abductor still on the loose. Fox News Camille Amiri has the latest. Good morning, Camille. Good morning, Amy and Ryan. Definitely such a relief to be able to report that this kidnapping victim is alive and that she is safe right now of course still looking for the suspect now i want to go ahead and show you a picture of her because we've been showing her all morning Imoni smith 20 years old able to uh, escape from her kidnapper who is uh, police say 21 year old marcus montgomery now they also released this surveillance video that is marcus montgomery they say his vehicle and then the vehicle that the victim had been in and i'm going to back up that will make sense to you when I explain what happened over the course of last night. So basically, police are saying that the woman, that the victim was in a vehicle parked with another woman at East Warren and Penrod around 7.50 last night when police say Marcus Montgomery forced Imani out of the car grabbed her and put her into his car and took off. Well, the woman inside the car that Imani was with said, oh no, not under my watch. She takes off after the suspect in her car and then police say the suspect shoots her. She's actually shot and taken to an area hospital where she then of course tells police everything that happened. She was last listed in temporary serious condition, but she is going to recover. Of course, the suspect though right now, Marcus Montgomery still on the loose, but luckily, thankfully his victim, she is safe and she is now with police. Take a listen. I just want to thank the community because when we put everything out, the, the video, um, the, the still photos of our victim and our suspect, um, just the, the help we had that put pressure on our suspect to probably just to release this victim and allow her to walk into a precinct. So it was just an awesome thing for us. So, of course, still looking for that suspect right now, again, in an older model silver Ford Explorer that you saw a picture of, that you saw the surveillance video. The license plate, and of course, we'll put this on our website as well, is 2MZM19. Um, of course, police desperately want to get him off the streets, uh, suspected of kidnapping and then shooting into a car and hitting a victim, another victim. Uh, definitely not something that we like reporting, but at least one step step closer. Thank God this woman who was kidnapped is safe and that she is alive. Reporting from the 6th Precinct, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Well, it's certainly Camille, the bravery of Imani's friend to try to chase him down, and we certainly hope that she's going to be okay. Sounds like she will. Uh, very frightening out there. Why was Imani targeted by Marcus in this way? A previous relationship, or, or what do we know about that? Yeah, very good question, and I, I should have brought that up, and I've been talking about that all morning, but I know a lot of people have just now joining us. Police say that there was some sort of prior relationship. Uh, they're not going into any details, but that there was some sort of relationship with these two people. We don't know how long it lasted, how long, when did it end, what were the circumstances that led up to this, uh, but it is important to point out because this was not a random. He didn't just yank this woman. He did target her Still, this should have never happened in the first place. Of course, police desperately want to get this guy off the streets. Amy, Absolutely. Ryan, back to you. Yeah, thank you, Camille. We appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's uh, hope that somebody calls him in and police are able to get him off the street, as you said. Much appreciated. Thanks, Camille.